one thing to actually keep in mind is you never really want to use this soap directly on your face like you don't really want to put it directly on the face just because it might scratch your face um, sometimes there might be bits and pieces of the cocoa pot ash that gets grounded into a powdered form right but there might still be bits and pieces in it and that can actually scratch your skin so just eliminate that altogether this is how you go about it instead so just put a little bit of water on it right and just bring it to lather in your hands in your palms however you prefer but just like I'm doing it so let's see and you see this is what we're going to use so we're going to use the lather to wash our face and just gently apply the lather into your face and just massage it in and one thing to keep in mind is you don't want to leave the lather on your skin or your face for too long that might cause some slight discomfort and you want to avoid that as much as possible so just massage it in the best you can for like a minute or two and just wash it off gently with lukewarm water and as you can see it's really nice and simple you don't have to like I said you don't have to use a whole lot of soap just a little bit will actually lather quite a lot and get the job done. I want to make sure that my face is properly dry before I put some shea butter on it. I love the combination of the two with African black soap and shea butter. It's been my secret to my skin 